So I'm Dougal McPherson. I'm in the School of Mathematics. I teach mathematics and I work in mathematical logic and connections to algebra. And I coordinate this MSc in Mathematics and Computer Science, which is a new MSc, which we started this year in 2010. So it's been running, it's in the middle of its first year at present. So the programme lasts one year from late September through to mid-September. And the academic requirements it's the equivalent of a UK BSc at 2-1 or first class standard. So an equivalent um, comparing different systems in different countries. Uh, the BSc would really need to have a significant amount of mathematics in it, sufficient to be able to do some MSc level mathematics modules. There's also an English language qualification at, uh, for example, IELTS at level 6.5 or around that. But the focus of this course, it's interdisciplinary, so it involves both mathematics and computer science. Um, a key feature is the 60 credit, so that's a third of the whole programme, dissertation in the summer. So for the period June, July, August, you do a, a dissertation or project which can be either in mathematics or in computer science with supervision, with one or more supervisors for that period. So that's the, um, the dissertation. For the rest of the program, it's a collection of taught modules, the taught, the, taught, the taught courses, done in either mathematics or in computer science. You have to do a certain minimum at MSc level in mathematics and a certain minimum in computer science. I think the particular focus, there are two main themes running, th running through the program. So one is around algorithms and complexity, and the other is around numerical methods. The, the, the MSc particularly benefits students interested in following one of, those, one of those themes. So around algorithms and complexity, in mathematics there are modules in discrete mathematics, graph theory, combinatorics, coding theory, a couple of modules in logic, uh, there's one in philosophy of mathematics that could be relevant, possibly. Um, things in number theory, things like that. In computer science, there are, there, are program, there are modules in complexity theory, algorithms, uh, uh, artificial intelligence, things of that sort. Now that, that, so that's one theme. The second theme is numerical methods, which is much more applied mathematics and its links to computer science. So in mathematics, there are uh, things like numerical methods, nonlinear dynamics, so modules like that. In computer science, various modules on parallel computing, scientific computation, that, things of that sort. So the career opportunities for the MSc, there's certainly a possibility, for example, of carrying on to do a PhD in mathematics or computing and maybe an academic career, possibly. That's one option. But also, both the computer science department or school of computing and the applied maths department have significant industrial connections. So, for example, the School of Computing has links to Google, to Microsoft, to the National Health Service. And there are, there are career opportunities in these directions. So again, uh, the two themes I mentioned, the algorithms and complexity theme has potential applications in, in many areas around algorithms, say so transport scheduling, for example, or scheduling problems in the National Health Service, things of this sort. And the theme around numerical methods has many applications, just many things around physics, mathematics, computational biology, involve numerical methods in computing. Uh, and there are applications in things like harbour flow, combustion, um, atmospheric things, things of this sort. So the standard method of applying to do an MSc here uh, would be online. If you go to the School of Mathematics website, go to the postgraduate pages, so the taught postgraduate pages, uh, then, then it guides you through on the online procedure. You can also print it out and apply.